and welcome to Easy Math channel. This week we will learn a uh, different type of angles uh, and basically there are uh, three, well you can say four different kind of angle. One is supplementary, complementary, vertical angles and then exterior and inter interior angles that kind of make their own group. Um, so uh, we will look at, we will try to understand what it, uh, what does each of those type of angle means and then we will go through two exercises to, um, to enhance our understanding for these concepts. Cool, so let's start with supplementary angles. Um, and as you can see from the definition, I'm not going to read the definition, but a uh, supplementary angle is nothing but the total angle um, equals 180 degrees. So uh, for this example, if we look at this straight line, the angle formed by this line is 180 degrees. So the angle would form by this line is this total angle. The sum would be 180 degree. And if we know the measurement of one angle, we can find the, the other angle. So in this case, we have two angles, angle F and angle G. So if we know, say, ex for example, if we know that angle F is 75 degrees, then angle G would be 180 minus 75. 180 degree minus 75, which is 105 degrees. So if we know one one angle, we can find out the other angle. This one. Just subtract uh, the known angle from 180. Cool. The second is and uh, the second type of angle is called complementary. Um, uh, and the definition says two acute angles. So acute angle any anything less than 90. Anything less than 90 is an acute angle. Uh, so two acute angle that forms a right angle, which is 90 degree, are called complementary angles. And their sum um, for those two angles equals 90 degrees. So for example, if uh, looking at this, uh, this uh, figure, we have two angles, D and E. And you can look at this is D and then this is E and both are acute angle both of them are less than 90 but if we add both D angle D and angle E we get 90 degree and again similar to supplementary angle if we know a measure of one angle we can find out other angle by simply subtracting from 90 so for example let's say if angle E is 35 degrees Angle D would be 90, my 90 degree minus 35 degree, which is 55 degrees. Cool. So, so complementary is 90. Sum of the two angles is 90. Supplementary is 180 degree. Or, so you can say complementary is half of supplementary. Supplementary is twice of complementary. Um, let's look at the other two type of angle. Uh, uh, and let's look at the vertical angle. So in here, you can look into the figure that we have two intersecting lines. So when the two lines intersect, we can see that there are four angles, namely A, B, C, and D. And these angles opposite to each other, so A, C, B, and D, they are equal and they are called vertical angles. So the other way of writing this is angle A is an equal to angle C. And angle B is equal to angle D and these are called vertical angles so like opposite angles so if angle A is say 55 degrees uh, and by the property of vertical angle angle C would be 55 degrees and let's say if angle B is uh, 100 and something let's pick so let's pick um, 105 degrees. It cannot be 105, um, but let's just assume it's 105, then angle D should be 105 degrees as well. Um, okay, and the last type of angle is called exterior and interior angles. Uh, so for an exterior and interior angle, if you look at this figure, we have two parallel lines and a line 
which traverses or intersect these two um, parallel lines. So this line, let's say this is x, this is y, and this is line L. So x and y are parallel line and line L crosses or intersects uh, the parallel line x and y. So in this case, we get eight different angles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in this case, this and this is called exterior angle because these are outside the parallel lines. And within the parallel lines, it's called interior. Oops, sorry about my bad handwriting. It's called interior angles. So um, exterior angles are one, two, seven, eight, and interior angles are three, four, five, and six. So the one uh, between the parallel lines X and Y. Awesome. So uh, with that, let's go through two separate examples and or two exercise questions to understand uh, the concept. So uh, with the first figure, uh, below, uh, we are asked to find or give examples, two examples of each, complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles. So let's start with complementary. So if you remember from the first page, complementary is where two angles sum up to be 90 degrees. So we know that this uh, this line here is 90 degrees. Um, so one of one example would be A G B, which is this, and then the other would be B G C. So this is one example for complementary. The second example would be, let's say this. So F, G, and D. So in this case, it would be F, G, E, and then E, G, D. E, G, and D. So those are the example of our complementary uh, angles. So, uh, let's look at supplementary now. So supplementary is nothing but where the sum of two angles um, is 180 and it's across the line so you we can just pick let's say if we pick this line we get this example so let's say we have e f g e f g and then f g and b f g and b the other example would be, let's say we take B, G, and C, B, G, and C, and we are looking at this line now. The, and then the angle that makes it supplementary would be B, G, and F, B, G, and F. You can have more supplementary angle, just pick a, pick a line that you're looking at. So. For this line, I just picked E, F, G, and then F, G, E. I could have also done E, F, A, and then A, G, B. And if I pick this line, say this line, A to D, I can have A, G, B uh, to B, G, D, or I can have A, G, C, C, G, D. Same thing. And let's look at vertical angles. So in this case, it's a, G, B, and the opposite to this is this, which is E, G, D, E, G, D, and the second would be B, F, C, sorry, B, G, C, B, G, C, the opposite to this is this angle, which is F, G, E, F, G, E, um, and you can also pick another angle which is F G A C G D or F G D to A G C. I mean there are a lot more examples but since we only wanted 
to find two examples of each. Um, these are some of the examples for complementary, supplementary, and vertical. Cool, I hope this was easy to understand. Um, it's really, once you know what complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles are, those, their properties, it's way more easy and way more simpler to like uh, write down all those different angles for each of these class uh, given a figure. Let's look at another uh, figure. Uh, and here we can see that we have two parallel lines. So let's say line X and line, line Y. And then we have an intersecting line which passes through the parallel lines. Let's call it L. And we are asked to figure out what, um, what each of these angles measurements are. So we know that there are eight angles. Uh, two of them are given, so 55 degrees, 125 degrees. Um, so in this case, since this is 55 degrees, we can use the property of vertical angles, which says that opposite angles are equal. So if this is 55, B is also 55. So B is 55. And if this is 125, angle E is also 125. Again, using the vertical property, uh, uh, vertical angle property. So E is also 125 degrees. And we know that if we look at line X, this line, oops, this line, we know that angle 55 and angle A forms a supplementary angle. So in order for it to form a supplementary angle, the sum should be 180. So angle A should be 180 minus 55 degrees, which is 125 degree. So if we know A is 125, we know that from vertical angle property, angle C should be 125 as well. And the other way of of knowing that it's 125 is again this side should also be 180 supplementary angle so it's 180 minus 55 which is 125 cool so again using the supplementary angle here if this is 125 looking at this line then f should be 125 degree minus sorry uh, it should be 180 degrees minus 125 degrees so that is 55 degrees and we know if F is 55 by the vertical angle property uh, angle H sorry this is not G this is H should be 55 degrees and again why this is 55 we know E is 125 we can also use the supplement supplementary angle property so this should be 180 degree so 125 plus 55 is 180 degrees great so that completes this week uh, video on the types of different angles so we learned about what's a supplementary angle what's a complementary angle what's a vertical angles and interior and exterior along with two different examples i hope this video was useful um, and you have liked this video as I always say, please subscribe to my channel and please leave your comments below and please feel free to share my channel with your friends. Um, well, that's it for this, for this week video. Take care.